So last time, um, yeah, found this bonus level. Let's see what it is. Yada yada yada. Extreme sports. Didn't I already? Oh, what the hell? I already did this one. Why are you making me do it twice? <laughs> I'm allergic to stupidity. Apparently, but ugh, yeah, I don't want to show all this again. interrupt this LP to bring you the latest news. It's nothing particularly noteworthy, but chances are this is more interesting, so go ahead and watch it anyway. We're now going live to Stereotypical Egypt with our reporter, Sasha Small. Thanks, Bob. History buffs and archaeologists everywhere were outraged today when an important historical site in Stereotypical Egypt was converted into little more than a tourist trap. The once legendary dual tombs of King Tut and King Kong are now overrun with hot dog carts and vending machines, and people are flocking to the site for a chance to win a contest. A company by the name of Bahiti is running what they call a pyramid scheme to raise interest in the stereotypical Egyptian history by offering the first person who can collect a hundred scarab-shaped tokens a cash reward of five thousand dollars and, for some bizarre reason, a golden television remote. What they failed to realize, however, was that the tournament attracted additional merchants and corporations trying to make a quick buck off the contestants. In many cases, these proprietors have actually taken a number of the scarab tokens for themselves, not for a chance to win the contest, but to sell them to interested collectors. Additionally, numerous reports of graffiti on the tomb walls have already come in, and there have been at least four cases of severe injuries coming to people careless enough to wander into quicksand and the nests of giant insects. There are also reports going around that Bahidi employees have actually put on costumes of the stereotypical Egyptian gods and mummies, terrifying anyone who comes into the tombs. Sometimes they actually hold keys to other areas of the tombs which were, until now, never actually explored or documented. We can only hope that the site is still left relatively intact for later study. Video footage for this report was provided by the contest winner, Gex, an anthropomorphic gecko with a very outlandish personality and an outfit to match. When asked what he planned to do with the prize money, he answered, The legendary, the pageantry, the Luxor. No further questions were asked, despite confusion with our staff. Back to you, Bob. Well, Sasha, that's what I like to call a sticky situation. And now back to your regularly scheduled crap. So then I ripped the fork out, and I was like, Booyah! But, uh, enough of that story. It, the hell? Why were there, like, stars there? That was weird looking. But anyway, um, yeah, I want to head behind the waterfall now. I'm going to be checking out that army level. On the army channel. Real original name they got there. I mean, I know history channel is a boring name, too, but still, jeez. And I did this, right? Yeah, I did that. Okay. So, yeah, checking this out. Rumble pack. Okay, whack five tents. Find five secret bug crates. Steal five secret plants. No, not really. Okay, whatever. Hello? This is very Metal Gear solid -y. What was that? It was like a hood? You're the only one, Gax, I think you said. Who, who can tell? Okay, uh, what do you have to say? Oh. You can use the machine gun? Well, doesn't that kick a little ass? Okay. Can I blow up the tent? No. Blow up the barrel? No. Can I do anything? No, except for Shatter of the Lights. I guess that's something, but that was kind of lame. Uh, anyway, uh, whatever, I don't need to collect this. Let's see, here is, uh, um, something. Wait, what? Hello, automatically bouncy beds. Uh, that is a lot of weeks. Wow, okay. 
I didn't know people counted weeks. Thought they counted days. But anyway, whatever. Um Again with the New Jersey. Well, hey, 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 what did I do? What? What? If I was Alan Alder, I'd be celebrating by now. Okay, something about Alan Alder, I think they said. I don't know. Whatever. Checking out this strange place. Um. Wait, how can I be there? Doesn't match up with the map at all. Like, seriously, not one bit. Do I even want to explore this? I already know that I don't. Wait, when did I get... Oh yeah, I, I, don't, I don't know when I got a golden paw print, but I did. Guess I got another 25 of those, so... Whatever, um... Checking out the secret tunnels... Hello, bonus coin. Hoping that I don't get horribly lost. Camera angle! Thank you for making me get horribly lost. No, it's okay. Um, is there going to be anything noteworthy here except for these random items? Looks like this should be able to move. I don't really know. Maybe there's other hidden passages I can go in somewhere. But whatever. I kind of wanted to explore outside anyway, so... Uh, that fly. It's the most annoying noise. And I'm still not sure how I opened that. Did I just bounce on the target, or did I, like, whack this, or... Maybe it was the New Jersey sign. Maybe it's the poster that the Team Rocket guy is guarding. Who knows? It could be any number of things. I can fly! Okay. Uh... Voiding the obvious landmines... Let's take out the searchlight, I guess, and not do anything else, because I can't shoot the landmines with them, because this is lame, but whatever. Uh, what does this say? Hogan was a hero. Yeah, I think Hogan, Hulk Hogan was a great hero to us all. But anyway, um, I want to get up here. Can I get on top of the building? Can I jump on this barrel? Evidently not. It's kind of odd, but okay. And there's a picture of Rez for some reason. And... Okay. I think there was a tent over this way. I was supposed to shoot those. And I just never did. Um, almost clean drinking water. It's like that thing on Fairly Odd Parents that was like, uh... And the manure comes almost all the way off. Random helipad, uh, no. What? Whatever. Um. Goodbye. Get, no, I said stop that. Okay, tent. Other tent. Um, apparently I can go this way, but I'll go back this way first. And hopefully not die from landmines, because I'm kind of being reckless. More searchlights. Another fly to replace this annoying one. Random army general guy, which I cannot shoot. Oh, okay. What are you saying to me? Uh, yeah, I don't know what he just said. And I, it was weird how, like, it didn't seem like I was shooting that guy at first. But whatever. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can shoot this mine. Evidently not. Okay. Whatever, uh, this is all five of the tents. And we have a helicopter bringing in a building or so Oh no, that's the TV, sorry. It wasn't really that impressive at all. I think you're overreacting. Um, wait, where, where, um, before I grab that, I just want to see if I can head anywhere else. What does this say? Combat maze, okay. That sounds like a load of fun, but I think I'm gonna pass on that one, for now at least. Okay, fine, I'll blow myself up. That was fun. Pepper games, what does that mean? I, I really don't. What the hell was that noise? It sounded like I got a one-up. 
I am so confused. Okay, whatever. I'll ah, my God. Whatever. Indeed. Um, I think I'm going to call it quits early on this one. Let's see if I get a cuts in. I sometimes do. Okay, no, I didn't. So, yeah, like I said, calling it quits a little bit early on this one. Next time we will explore the combat maze and whatever is behind that gate. So, breakfast.